The body of a dead whale was found floating near Sheikh Jaber al Ahmad Bridge in Kuwait. The dead whale was transported to Shuwaik Port in the capital Kuwait City. Hundreds of whales and dolphins die each year and most of them die in the sea. So, why do authorities and environmentalists clear the carcass of these huge mammals and, why can't we just tow them out to the deep sea and leave them in their natural habitat? Apparently, the task of getting the whale into deep sea is harder than transporting them to landfills nearby. There is a picture taken of how a whale was cut into pieces and buried on the beach. Leaving them out in the sea is tricky business, and because their carcasses float in the water, it poses as a risk to other seafarers plying the sea route. Unknown to many, the dead whale is taken for an autopsy of sorts, which is called necropsy. And during the necropsy, the vet determines if the whale died of pollution or of natural causes. There is more science to it than you thought. Finally, it comes down to dollars and cents, it is much cheaper to transport a dead whale by land than to tow it into open seas. Seeing this mammoth creature being stranded on the beach is rare sight and it can be very distressful for an animal lover. It is a constant reminder that we share this planet with so many awesome creatures. You are watching the independent Singapore. Subscribe to our channel to receive more updates on documentaries like this.